All right. Go trash. Here's Jake with the dumb zone news. The president has tested, the real one, has tested mm-hmm. positive for COVID and canceled an appearance in Las Vegas. Really? Yeah. Where, 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 what's the latest? Just on the- <laughs> well, the latest is you have COVID, sir. Got it yesterday while traveling. Um, Never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. Flew home to his uh, his home in Delaware. <laughs> and the reason I wanted to do this story was because I thought it was so funny the way that it's written. I think this is like an AP Wire story. It's the, the doctor's uh, physician, Kevin O'Connor, not from The Ringer, said in a note that Biden, 81, quote, presented this afternoon with upper respiratory symptoms and general malaise. And I'm like, so before that, you thought he was just like he was a, so peppy a, 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 a Mensa, <laughs> like he he was on top of everything. How bad does it have to be for them to be like, boy, Biden seems fucked up? Yeah, he's, <laughs> is he in a funk here? Yeah, and even like the 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 cough and the runny nose, which he had during the debate, they're like, yeah, he seems a little off. It would be so real- COVID's still out there, huh? Dude, not only is it still out there, kids are getting it in droves right now. Really? Yeah. That just means you're going to get it, and you're going to give it to me. Third time's a charm. We've been through this so many times. Yeah. I don't even know. Your I last go get another vac. I, yeah. do, I definitely do. I've had three, but I'm way past due. At least by three, three or four months. I always don't want to because you know, like there could be a day where you feel bad. The first two but, times, I definitely had a day where I felt bad. The third time, it was like nothing. Same here. But I remember getting COVID was really, really bad. So yeah, it sucked. Damn. Um, what? You looking at numbers? No, I'm just saying, damn. Oh, I thought I, that I can't was believe it. I I thought we were kind of done with that. There's also a note in this story where it says Biden, quote, gingerly boarded Air Force One and told reporters traveling with him, I feel good, which again presents the question, do they think he... that previously he was like charging up yeah. like he was running <laughs> stairs at a stadium? <laughs> Two at a time. <laughs> He's doing the Rocky run up. Yeah, exactly. You're like, a sucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm fairly certain he was gingerly boarding Air Force One because he's 100 and he's dying. So, Yes, yeah, so now he has malaise. Or general malaise, and uh, he walks gingerly. He's walking a little slow. Has he had COVID the whole time? <laughs> See, that would have been a good explanation the day after. They should have just come up with that. The well, day after the debate, like, oh, we didn't know he had COVID. Like, he felt a little down, but now this morning it's tested positive, and then that would be a good cover for, oh, that's why. Because now it was just like, well, he was tired. He had a cold. Yeah, like, like no. a cold shouldn't do that. No. We just need to have this debate at 1.30 in the afternoon. That's all. Before the Luann Platter special hits. Well, that's that's when he started dinner. changing his schedule. Yeah. Gum down. All, all of these things are Gum too late at night. So we have a uh, bank robbery situation here in DFW, and this is the image that I was going to put up on the screen, video man. Um, this is Hordash. Back out of Hordash. <laughs> So this is a man who, uh, the first robbery occurred on July 3rd in Garland. Uh, there have been a couple since then. One on uh, July 12th. That was at uh, Forest Lane in Dallas. And he wears, like, a really dapper outfit. Now, I think, unlike Biden, he's probably not going to get COVID because he has an N95 on. <laughs> but he's also dressed like uh, pan- or like the guy from Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Dick, yeah, yeah, Dick, Tracy, Dick Tracy, Tracy type look. Smart guy, though. Look at that. So he's got the mask for sure. Mm-hmm. Gloves, and rubber gloves. What a great bit the the COVID has brought to normalize that mask a little bit. Because if you see someone wearing a mask, you're not that alarmed anymore, right? You might just punch him and call him a dirty lib, but <laughs> get that face diaper off. Yeah, but. It, it isn't like if they were if this was ten years ago, you'd be like, "There's clearly something up with this guy." And yeah, he's got the surgical gloves on. Yeah, very smart, right? So you're not leaving fingerprints. Yeah, and he's got like a fedora style hat on. It's a little more wide brim than a fedora, but and that's probably to, that <laughs> that'll block your uh, 
you know, the cameras from seeing your eyes. Pretty good. The uh, FBI authorities have termed him Derby Desperado. <laughs> okay. Which, it's sort of like what we were talking about the other day with Operation Varsity Blues and... Why do law enforcement agencies, like, have to come up with something like that? Well, it feels like... Like, why do they have to sit in a room and workshop, like, an alliteration name for every robber or every criminal and say, I love Derby Desperado. Do you guys love that one? See, I was thinking that that would be a place for, like, you or me. I would be able to work on that if I worked for the FBI. What else are they going to have me do? Except for, hey, could you come up with, like, creative names for our operate? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, no, I think if we got drafted in this scenario, that would be what we could do. Yeah, otherwise, why am I there? All right, what are you calling this guy? The bits department. I mean, Derby Desperado is a great one. But why does he need a Why does he need a name? Why don't they just try to catch him rather than being like, ah? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense. Are you guys aware that Elon Musk is moving SpaceX and the Twitter uh, headquarters from California to uh, Texas? No. I thought I heard space the space thing. Yeah, and Twitter. I didn't know that. X. X. <laughs> Formerly known as Twitter. Is it because of libs? Uh, he did actually cite a Gavin Newsom law. Governor of uh, California. Which is really weird. I think I have this info right. Blake, you can fact check me in real time if you want. Gavin Newsom, who is like Democratic hot boy, governor of California, used to be either dating or married to Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Kimberly Guilfoyle. Yeah. yeah. That's a weird one, right? So who was? So the governor of California, yeah. who's like this young hotshot, you know. He was lit. married to Oh. The woman who is now currently Donald Trump Jr.'s, you know, wife or girlfriend or partner or whatever. Look, he, he probably all... doesn't say partner. What's what's Howard Zinn tell us? The people in power. All those elites, they're all together. They don't hate each other. They do publicly. It is kind of weird, though, in the last couple of years how Texas has just become, like, hot shit for, hey, we're going to move all of the tech companies here. Because, you know, something that you and I learned about whenever we were going through our situation was initially the reason that Silicon Valley was able to take uh, business and companies away from MIT was because they didn't have non-competes. And Massachusetts did. So there was like a brain drain to the West Coast because innovation was able to flourish, I suppose, without uh, non-competes. And now people are like, well, Texas seems pretty pro-business. And we're getting spaceship companies now. Anyways, I, I, you apparently don't have just a ton on that. I just thought I would present it to you. Of course, a can of woman. <laughs> well, I'm going uh, sombrero swindler. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that makes me really happy. The, the, the fact that you were in the the fact that you were in the lab during that time makes the bowler me really bandit. Re bowler, they'll call I, one of those. I'm not upset with you at all. Okay. That's very good. Thanks, man. Very good. Uh, a, a woman of Corsicana was killed trying to walk between train cars. The lid larceny? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I am I want you to keep going. So while the train is moving? Yes. Well, uh, so the train cars are stationary at first, and as soon as she walks behind one, one of them starts backing up. And apparently they get going pretty quickly. Mm. Do you get nervous they don't beep. every single time, you know, like a like a, a loading truck? Yeah. Do you get nervous still every single time you run across a train track? No. Man, I do. In your car? I can't. No. Yeah, I can't say. Well, when like last time you ran across a train track, like jogging. Yeah. Like, oh, no, because I can move. Like it's going at the speed of light. But I just feel like there's a. <laughs> I like always, you might trip and I can't get up. And I I just always feel like there's a chance I didn't really see what was there. There's one right uh, near downtown Grapevine, the area that I sometimes run. And that thing shows up quick because it's a super small train. And sometimes I'm I'm just, well, every time I'm worried. 
unlike him, that I can't move. Take your earpods out. I mean, you can hear it. We have other senses. We do have other senses. <laughs> Smell, taste. That's a good point. The yeah, lick the lick the ground. Be like, no, okay, no train. You ever put your hand on a train track just to see if you could feel the vibrations that the train is coming? No, I've never been that bored. Oh. <laughs> the Panama Pirate. The Cashmere Klepto. Ooh. You guys would be good at this. Yeah. I'm using thesaurus.com. He's going off the top of his head. Oh, that's cheating. Of course. <laughs> Why did you say that like it's a dinosaur? What did I say? Thesaurus. <laughs> that's not how you say it? <laughs> <laughs> thesaurus right. Rex. There's your news. Biden's got COVID. No. Oh, man.